Hello friends, today we'll learn how to use swap and swap cut feature in SOLIDWORKS using various options like swap using circular profile, swap using guide curves and swap using twist parameter in SOLIDWORKS. So let's see how to use swap in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's see how to use swap and swap cut feature in SOLIDWORKS. So let's go in SOLIDWORKS. Create a new tab. Press OK. Now for creating a swap profile, we have to basically create a profile and a path to use swap feature. So let's see how to use. Go in front plane. Click on the sketch. Now here at start I am selecting a rectangular profile. Exit the sketch. Now select any one perpendicular plane. So now I am selecting a right plane. This normal to. Now we will create a straight line. This will be acting as my path. Now exit the sketch. Now let's see how to use swap. Click on the swap. Now here it is asking for the profile and path. So here rectangular will be my profile and straight line will be my path. So like this we can use swap feature, press ok. Now we will see if there is a curve path then how swap feature will work. So I am deleting this feature, I will go in sketch 2, I will edit it. Now here I am creating a swap using curve profile and path. Exit the sketch. Now swap will be created using rectangular profile and curve path. So go in the profile option first, select the rectangle and select the path see like this we can create swap now we'll see the various options available so we'll go in the option now the first option is the follow path means basically the swap profile that is rectangular profile is following the given path now we'll see the second option that is keep normal constant so basically it will make the starting phase and the end phase parallel see here you can basically see the end phase is at a sub angle basically inclined so when i will be clicking on the keep normal constant it will be parallel to the starting sketch that is a rectangle so i am clicking the keep normal constant see you can see the end profile has got straight that is in rectangular shape so like this you can use the keep normal constant option Now we'll see the other options. That is using guide curve. Let's see. So for guide curve, I will be creating other sketch. I'm set in the front plane. Again using rectangle. Exit the sketch, setting right plane to create path. I am creating straight path. Exit the sketch. Now I'll again use the right plane and draw guide curve. Suppose I am using spline. Now here we have to basically add relation that is pierce so go in add relation select the point and the rectangular line click on the pierce option exit the sketch go in sweep boss command select the profile first then the path now go in guide curves and select the guide curve see you can see 
swept using guide curves. Now here basically we can use one or more than one guide curves. So let's see how to use two guide curves. For creating two guide curve profile, we have to compulsory select a elliptical profile. Then only it will create swept using two guide curves. So let's see how to do this. I'm setting a front plane. Now I will create an elliptical profile. Exit the sketch. I am setting the right plane. Make it normal to. I will create a straight path. Exit the sketch. Now again I am setting the right plane. I am drawing a curve path. It will be acting as my guide curve. Now I can go in add relation. Add the peer relation. So click on the point and the elliptical profile. And click on peers. Exit the sketch. Now I'll make other guide curve on the top plane. Make it normal too. Here also add relation of peers. So go in add relation. Select the point and the elliptical profile. Click on peers option. Exit the sketch. Now we'll see how to use swept using two guide curves. So go in swept command. Select the profile that is elliptical profile. And then select the path. Now we'll go in guide curves. Here select the first guide curve. And then select the second guide curve. Okay. You can see it has taken both the shape of the guide curves. So like this we can use swept using two guide curves. So again I am repeating for creating two guide curves we have to create a elliptical profile that is compulsory. It will not take any other profile. So, now let's see the other option that is swept using twist parameter. I am creating a rectangular profile. Exit the sketch. Again, I am selecting the front plane. I am drawing a straight line. Exit the sketch. Go in swap feature. Now select the profile and path. Now we will go in the options. And here we will go in profile twist option. And select the first option that is specify twist value. So here we can basically use the twist value using degrees, radians or revolution. So first we will try with the degrees. Suppose I am giving 360 degree rotation that is twist value. See like this we can twist the profile. Okay. Now we will see twist using revolutions. So again change from degree to revolution. Here I will be giving the number of revolution to 3. See. So, like this, we can use a swept profile. Now we will see thin feature in swept command. So, again, go in swept feature, select the profile, select the path. Now we can go in the thin feature. Basically, thin feature is used to create a hollow object. See, you can see the object has got hollow. It is having just 1mm thickness. Suppose I want to add thickness on both the side. So I will select the two direction and give thickness on one side and thickness other on other side. Suppose on other side I am giving thickness of 5mm and on one side I am giving 11 so like this we can create a swept profile or else we can use the mid plane option. So I am taking 
thickness as 10 so basically it will add 5 thickness on inside and 5 thickness on the outside you can click ok and now last we will see how to use swept using circular profile so we will go in new tab now we will see how to use swept using circular profile option so click on the front plane click on sketch now I am drawing a straight line exit the sketch go on swept feature now click on circular profile and click on the line so basically it will be acting as a path and the profile will be circular so here we can give the diameter of the circular profile suppose I want diameter of 80 like this we can create a swept feature using circular profile here also we can use the thin feature option to make it hollow See. Now we will see how to use swept cut option. So, go on the new sketch, set the front plane, click on sketch. I am drawing a rectangular profile, exit the sketch. I am setting right plane, click on sketch, make it normal to. I will make a path. exit the sketch so first I will get swept profile now we will see the swept cut option so for this also I will select the front plane click on sketch make it normal to I will use rectangle exit the sketch and I will use the same path as I have used in the swept profile for that just click on this option and make the sketch visible so I will click on the sketch 2 and show it now we will use swept cut option basically swept cut is same as swept option this it will provide a cut to the already created swept profile so here I will select the rectangular profile and here I will select the path and press ok See. So, using swept cut, we can provide a cut to already existing swept body. Thank you friends for watching this video.